We got a scary situation for anyone who plays Minecraft uh, pretty consistently. If you've played Minecraft, you've probably messed with mod packs a little bit. It makes the game a lot better. And recently, Bucket and CurseForge uh, announced that they have compromised plugins. And they've had these compromised plugins up on their website since late April. And these compromised plugins had malware uh, in them that would steal all of your passwords. And when I say all of your passwords, I mean all of the ones you had saved on your browser for any reason reason it would steal those so this isn't good if you've downloaded mods from curse forge over the last like couple months or bucket over the last couple months because you might have this malware this is the full list of the known plugins that had this malware on curse forge you have dungeons of the rise sky villages better mc mod pack series fabulously optimized has not been compromised according to this list dungeons with a z sky block core vault integrations auto broadcast museum curator advanced vault integrations bug fix create infernal expansion plus this mod has been removed from curse forge and then on the list for bucket compromise plugins we had display entity editor haven elytra the nexus event custom entity editor simple harvesting mc bounties easy custom foods anti-command spam bungee corn support ultimate leveling anti-redstone crash not to be confused with ntd anti-redstone crash hydration fragment permission plugin no vpns ultimate title animation gradient rgb and floating damage so kind of a decent amount of plugins were compromised luckily as of now according to this reddit post the control server for the malware is currently dormant so the malware is not actually doing anything yet but from what i know about malware which isn't a whole lot a lot of the times with malware they'll let it infect as many computers as possible and they won't activate the servers to actually get information because people will notice that a lot quicker than if they just leave the malware dormant and this post is also about three days old so as of now the malware could be running so if you downloaded any plugins in the last two-ish months from curse forge or bucket you might want to check your computer i'll link a link down below to prism launcher the website and they have uh they have a bunch of resources on here on how to check for malware and if you do pop up with having malware on your computer you should probably change every single password you've had baked into your web browser because you don't want to potentially lose your account information to hackers or have it be in the dark web it's just better to, to be safe than sorry it is kind of insane though this even happened to begin with i'm not saying that like it's anyone's fault really because honestly malware has gotten insanely good recently at least from what i've heard i'm not like a tech expert on malware i just listen to the winds <laughs> i don't want to get malware on my computer and i don't want to get hacked so i try to stay informed on it and from what i understand as of recent malware has gotten really good it's getting to a point too where you can have chat gpt make malware um and it, it's good at it which is kind of scary but yeah if you've downloaded anything in the last like two-ish months from bucket or curse forge you want to go check and see if you have this malware it doesn't seem like it's affected a lot of plugins as of now but this list of affected plugins is also just what they know there could be a lot more affected that we don't know so you definitely want to get that checked because it's better safe than sorry and yeah it's a pain to have to change all your passwords i know i've done it before but at the same time it's better than losing your accounts especially if you log into your bank account and you saved it into chrome or something like that and to be absolutely clear as well it says in this post no site is safe mod rent included it just arrived to bucket first and curse forge first uh but this malware can kind of spread anywhere it's really good at spreading apparently like it can hide in plugins mods mod packs jar files it's apparently really agile for for malware it can hop from thing to thing with ease and yeah this is super unfortunate but it doesn't surprise me because as i said earlier malware has gotten really good um it's also kind of insane how good chad gpt is at writing stuff that's like malware based like at this point we're looking at a future where we have ai like chat gpt writing malware and hacks and then we have ai like chat gpt defending from malware and hacks because that's where it's headed at this point um and like hacks and malware too have definitely been on a rise as of recent i could just be noticing it because i'm kind of like in the loop in those spheres and I, I i i seek out that information but like it's actually a little bit concerning these ai tools are very good at assisting with malware uh phishing attacks have gotten way better like they'll spoof emails really well now i check every single email i get before i click a link now i look up the address because they're so good at spoofing addresses now like even just recently google verified a phishing email to people like it wasn't the real company but they verified it as like a legitimate email like these phishing attacks and malware attacks have gotten really good which is pretty concerning especially if you're not super tech savvy because like a lot of them look legit like you've probably seen the uptick in youtube channels that have gotten hacked and like changed to tesla crypto scam accounts a lot of those were phishing emails that were just really really well designed and then they got your passwords with malware 
using a really good phishing email like even linus tech devs got hacked because of this now granted they're a huge company they have a lot of people working there and like the bigger your company the more likely it is someone's gonna click a link by accident but like none of the people that work at linus tech tips are just tech illiterate completely they're all pretty tech savvy so the fact that they even got duped by like an email like that is kind of crazy and then every day i'm seeing team youtube reply to a twitter account that's like hey guys my account got hacked can you please help me i really wish twitter would stop pushing those to my feed because i kind of don't want to see them all the time because it scares me a little bit so if you don't have windows firewall on you should probably turn that on and turn it off when you don't need it for stuff because sometimes you do need to turn it off for certain things but like malware bytes is also a pretty good option if you want to be safe with that at least from what i understand and the craziest part about this malware slash virus is it's self-replicating and it spreads itself that that is actually kind of scary because malware is already a scary thing and viruses are already a scary thing especially ransomware attacks but having them be self-replicating is definitely way scarier i'm pretty sure they've been able to do that for a while uh but like it's probably hitting the mainstream now given that chat gpt can write a lot of stuff and i know i bring up chat gpt a lot but it's true like chat gpt is really good at giving you code it's like one of its best use cases honestly like it's so good at giving code that people who work at companies like sony would give chat gpt code and then chat gpt would give somebody else the code because you agree to have your data mined when you use chat gpt and then it turns out the code that these people at sony gave was proprietary and they could they weren't allowed to share it but just to be clear so they're all on the same page if you downloaded any minecraft plugins from curseforge or bucket in the last couple of months you should definitely check your computer it's not worth losing all of your accounts because you were too lazy to do a quick scan and see if you were affected or not and if you don't have windows firewall on or windows defender on in the background you should probably turn that on unless you need to turn it off temporarily for something like you know you know like a little pirate ceiling sometimes you need to do that okay but just be careful online especially nowadays if you grew up online you probably know to do this but there's also like a weird gap of like people who grew up when the internet first started becoming relevant and then people who grew up with the internet entirely i think people who grew up with the internet entirely are less safe about stuff just because it was more safe when they started using it but like when i grew up on the internet it was not safe there was a lot of weird stuff that happened online and if the prism launcher tools do catch malware change all of your passwords i know it's a huge pain and you don't want to do it i hate doing it too i've had to do it before but it is better than losing all of your account information or maybe even worse losing your bank login or someone stealing all your money or losing your steam account like trust me it is a lot better than losing all that kind of stuff i know people who have gotten hacked before it is never a fun thing but yeah, that's been the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Click the entries now. Check out more of my content. Like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Spatins1. And have a good one.